Hi guys! We are going to talk about Microsoft's new Windows 11. What is its system requirements? What are the new features that could be a reason to upgrade your Windows 10 to Windows 11? And why it has a limited CPU support? Last October, Microsoft have officially released their Windows 11 to market. And now, the company is rolling it out to more PCs if they meet Microsoft's minimum hardware requirements for Windows 11. It comes with a new, more Mac-like interface, pastel shades, and a centered start menu taskbar. Integrated Android apps coming with Windows 11 via the Amazon App Store. Better virtual desktop support that will let you set up virtual desktops. Better gaming experience with an auto HDR and direct storage. Easier transition from monitor to laptop and better multitasking. Those are just some of the new features of Windows 11. While Windows 11 is a free upgrade for Windows 10 users, it's not necessarily going to be available to all Windows 10 users. You can download PC Health Check. It provides a comprehensive eligibility check for your device to ensure it meets the Windows 11 minimum system requirements. You will get info on why your device is or isn't eligible, plus info on what you can do if your device doesn't meet the requirements. To run Windows 11 on your system, you must at least have a 1GHz or faster with 2 or more cores and a compatible 64-bit processor, at least 4GB RAM and a 64GB or larger storage device. It seems that the PC or laptop does not need to be a high spec to install Windows 11. But, it also requires UEFI, Secure Boot, and a TPM 2.0. Trusted Platform Module or TPM is a physical chip on your motherboard that store important encrypted data and keys locally to help maintain proper security on your system. Most PCs that are less than 5 years old are capable of running TPM 2.0. In some cases, PCs that are capable of running TPM 2.0 are not set up to do so. If you are considering upgrading to Windows 11, make sure that TPM 2.0 is enabled on your device. To enable TPM, settings are managed via the UEFI BIOS and vary based on your device. You can access these settings by choosing Settings, Update and Security, Recovery, and Restart Now. From the next screen, choose Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, UEFI Firmware Settings, then click Restart to make the changes. These settings are sometimes contained in sub-menu in the UEFI BIOS labeled Advanced, Security, or Trusted Computing. The option to enable the TPM may be labeled Security Device Support, TPM State, AMD FTPM Switch, Intel PTT, or Intel Platform Trusted Technology. Microsoft has set its minimum CPU requirements for Windows 11 at Intel's 8th generation because the chips enabled several important security features to be turned on by default in the operating system, offering a major security enhancement over Windows 10. On Windows 10, an enabled TPM wasn't a necessity as it will require users to have the BIOS options enabled. This means, if it's not enabled by default, users will have to configure their PC's BIOS settings to switch it on. Intel's 8th gen chips and apps support the use of certain key security features such as virtualization-based security or VBS, while also providing optimal performance when automatically running those features. Devices that do not meet the minimum system requirements have 52% more kernel mode crashes while devices that do meet the minimum system requirements have a 99.8% crash-free experience. If your PC doesn't meet one or more of the requirements, it can't officially run Windows 11. Well, we've got the three options. The easiest is to continue using Windows 10. Microsoft's current operating system is already excellent, and the company has committed to supporting it until 2025, which means your Windows 10 PC will continue to get security and feature updates for years to come. Your second option is to upgrade your PC by having a CPU and motherboard that are not more than 5 years old to ensure that you will have TPM 2.0 support. Lastly, you can always buy a new PC that supports Windows 11 right out of the box. I hope you learned something in this video and if you have any questions, please leave us a comment. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you will be updated. I'm EJ of Amo Pinoy. If I can do it, they can do it. Why not you? See ya.